So I'm Jody, a nurse practitioner student, um, and this is Maddie. Um, I did her um, a well visit for her today before she goes back to college. Um, so we'll pick it up from there. So Maddie, as we are going through um, your exam, you mentioned that you do really drink a lot of coffee every day and that you really don't drink a lot of water. Um, tell me like what a typical day of your coffee and your water looks like for you. Okay, well I have classes eight to four. So I will wake up at six, make a cup of coffee, get ready for the day, and then that'll wake me up. And then before I go to class, I make another cup, mm -hmm. and then I'll have that for class. And then my lunch break, during class, I'll make another cup on campus, mm -hmm. and then after class, I'll go home and make another cup so I can finish some work. It's a lot of coffee. So within all of that, do you drink, like do you bring water with you or do you drink much water at all? I'll bring a water bottle, but I usually don't drink it because I am more focused about staying awake with the coffee. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you just have really full days, you're a full-time student, you work a lot, you work a lot on weekends. Um, so, but it sounds also, so you like to drink coffee and get that caffeine mm -hmm. to keep you awake and alert. Doing homework at night, it sounds mm -hmm. like you need to stay awake for that. Um, so, um, it, but it also sounds like you're a little worried or concerned, mm -hmm. like you know that maybe you drink too much coffee. So what worries you the most um, about that habit of coffee versus water? Well, sometimes I'll get headaches when I do drink coffee, so sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting away from being on coffee, so I'll have more to get rid of the headache, mm -hmm. rather than trying to have water instead of the coffee. So I just really don't want to keep having headaches, so I just mm -hmm. have more. It's kind of a cycle that keeps yeah. perpetuating itself. Yeah. So are there any other symptoms or any other concerns that you feel like you experience from um, too much coffee or not enough water? Sometimes my hands will shake or mm -hmm. my heart kind of feels like it's racing. Mm -hmm. And then that's kind of when I'm like, whoa, I had one too many cups, but I still go through and finish that last cup. Right. Right. And I have had, um, many patients have, have said that they get, if they don't drink enough water, they do get headaches. Um, or if they drink too much caffeine, you can get shaky and jittery. I've heard people say that. Or they get headaches. Um, would you be interested in exploring like other ways to try to stay awake, uh, um, awake and alert um, and try to cut coffee out? Are you... Yeah. You wanna I'm you wanna interested. Okay. I'd love to be able to drink more water just because I know how good water is for you. And it would be nice to probably have one more cup of water than one more cup of coffee. Right. So in um, a little bit, then we'll talk about ways that um, have been successful for other patients to try to cut back um, on caffeine and coffee and try to ramp up um, more water in your day and still enjoy work, enjoy school, and feel alert. Yeah. So thanks. I would like that. Thanks for your time, Maddie. <laughs>